Aristotle versus Democritus. Quick review of last Friday's lesson. First off, two very old, very white Greek dudes, and they argued about whether or not matter was divisible. Aristotle said that matter, well, Aristotle and Democritus both said that matter was divisible. Their main point of contention, their difference, was that Democritus said there was an end point, whereas Aristotle said that you could continue to divide matter infinitely. Okay, Aristotle, that's the infinite symbol, believed that you could split matter again and again and again infinitely. Democritus said there was an end point. He called that end point... Atomos, which is the Greek word meaning indivisible. That's also where we get the modern word atom from. Atoms you've been hearing about since at least middle school. Real quick discussion as we wrap this up. In a way, both of them were right. Democritus was right that when we, we can divide matter down to the atom level and it still retains properties of that metal, of that atom element. So I can take a piece of copper and chop it down until I hit that atom point and the physical and chemical properties of that copper atom are the exact same as that original chunk of copper. Exactly the same. Now Aristotle was right because we can in fact split that atom into smaller things, our subatomic particles protons, neutrons, electrons, but they no longer retain those properties of matter. So Aristotle was correct in that, yes, we can divide matter infinitely. He was wrong because we can divide it, but it doesn't retain properties of matter anymore. Democritus was right because, yes, we reach an endpoint where it's no longer considered matter, the atom level, but we can, in fact, divide those atoms a little more. Also, Aristotle believed that all matter was combinations of earth, fire, water, and wind. Just throw in a little bit of heart and you've got Captain Planet. Classic 80s cartoon. You should check it out.